education. Well, from that kind of illicit trade to a different kind of trade, and of course the fact that, uh, well, a forum that brings together well, the heads of various stock exchanges, indeed other areas of investment and stakeholders around investment is currently going on in Nairobi at the Kempinski Hotel. We, of course, have been camping at that event and we'll be going there, well, in a few minutes to, well, see what exactly is going on with my colleague, a beginner, but first. Now, Kenya's earnings from fresh produce exports in 2017 jumped to some 115.25 billion shillings an 11% increase over 2016 earnings. Unveiling the statistics at a stakeholders breakfast event in Nairobi, Okesegero Jepat, the CEO of the Fresh Produce Consortium of Kenya, the FPC said that the sector remains resilient amid political and an economic certainties of the year 2017. The consortium now wants to shift focus to enhancing traceability of products that are getting into the local market. We we'll want to look at how do we do local testing for our products because for what you take into the export market, there's a lot of testing at the point of entry. For what we take in that export, what we take in the domestic market, including what we have just had in the morning for us, we had the food, cannot be able to trace it. We don't know how it was contaminated. And the export market is well secure because the market has given us preconditions. You must test this, you must sample the food that you sell, export. It must be a sample every time you're exporting. International markets, they are put so much or a very high standard, sometimes which is a little bit aesthetic, is not really there. Sometimes you find if you have maybe a product like French beans, if they are crooked, they don't accept that. If just the bean is a bent somewhere, they don't accept that. But in real sense, the bean is okay, it can be consumed. 